Hi everyone and welcome to Angular Seattle. So <clears throat> our miss mission is to grow Angular in this community and we're trying to grow this group and get you all to become presenters here one day. So we want you all to join us. So we're running this meetup once a month. Uh, currently once a quarter we have it at Google uh, and then the other two months, we're trying to find a place to hold them. So these are our organizers today here. And if you're organizer, please stand up so we can identify you. <laughs> and why I'm asking them to stand up is actually, if you're interested in doing anything, talk to these people. We're always looking for people to help. It's not about us, it's about you its community. Like I said, we need volunteers for pretty much everything. Oh. That's yours. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry. So I wanted to just like, uh, like, like this is uh, Black Rocks Night. So thank, thank them so much for hosting and putting this together. Doing one of these is a lot of work. Um, and Mike and Oleg as organizers, they found speakers on interesting subjects. They put stuff together. They got pizza and a room with a great view. So, so thank them. Let's give Black Rock a round of applause. Uh, yeah, so we, need, we do need volunteers. We need people to help. Um, anyone who wants to run the AV setup or is like a specialist in doing recordings, uh, one of the cool things is we record all of these and put them on YouTube. And we could definitely use help with that. Um, we're always looking for more speakers, for more content. And, uh, and we're looking for more organizers, more people to help put these on. And specifically, why, why should you be a speaker? Uh, being a speaker is probably the best way to learn a new topic. So if there's something you're interested in, you know, there's, there's nothing more motivating than a deadline of when you're going to get up and speak in front of you know, 50 people and have a post on YouTube for all time. So <laughs> it's, it's a great chance to learn something new. It helps the community by sharing your knowledge with everyone else. Um, and it builds your personal brand, 2017 networking uh, synergies. So yeah, that's great. Uh, all right, back to Mike. <clears throat> so we have a Twitter page, so please tweet to NG Seattle uh, or hashtag NG Seattle or even better, both. And the reason I'm saying that is uh, you can win stuff. I won't tell you what yet, but <laughs> something with Angular. <clears throat> Back to Mike. <laughs> this wasn't planned well. So I wanted to uh, uh, just give an update about the volunteer project we mentioned at the last one. So w one of the things we'd like to do next year is, as a group, um, start an open source uh, pro Angular project to benefit someone in the community as like a, a charity effort. Um, so this is the, a charity that we've talked to so far. Uh, this is Launch Learning. They do community before and after school programs. Um, so community daycare, basically. And uh, it's, it's great, they have a great impact on the local community, like kids do a lot better, um, especially in, in households with two working parents, you know, when they have access to this kind of daycare. Uh, but right now, the way Launch works is they send parents home with a big stack of papers every year. So even if your kid has been in the program for two or three years so far, every year they still get the same stack of paperwork that they have to fill out with all of the details about their kids required by regulation um, and they have to sign it because the regulations require that they have like signed documents, right? And then this big stack of paper goes to launch and they type it all in instead of helping kids. Um, so this isn't great for them, right? They're, they're drowning in paperwork and they need help. So uh, right now they're working with 501 Commons. That's an organization that helps nonprofits uh, come up with plans to, to improve their IT infrastructure. And they're in the middle of that now, so they're looking at moving away from the system they have and building out something new. So we've already talked to them, and we've made clear, like, hey guys, as you're building out this new thing, we can offer you a custom web app. Um, you know, it's, it's a volunteer effort. We actually want to finish and deliver something good. So the goal is to be doing something simple and achievable. And uh, when I said I wanted to do just like a boring app, uh, her eyes lit up, the, the administrator we were talking to, because they don't need something fancy, right? They need to stop dealing with paperwork. They need to be able to use DocuSign. They need to be able to get this information in a place they can search. And it's, it just it doesn't have to be this way, right? They have to, you know, it's 2017 and they're still sending like 
20 page packets home with parents uh, to fill out. Um, so we're kind of waiting on them because they, they're in the middle of this of adopting a new IT infrastructure. So you have to see what actually they decide to do uh, before we can do anything helpful. Um, so we're going to see what happens to 5.1 Commons, and we're going to follow up with them in Q1, and we'll probably have another update uh, in January. Uh, so if you'd like to be involved, stay tuned. If well, We still don't know if they'll need us. So if there's another charity that would have like an opportunity like this that you can think of, uh, let me know, and we can, we can look at doing a project with them instead. So we'll just sort of see what our options are. Uh, all right, thanks. Thanks, Mike. December, this is you as well. Uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's his coworker, Craig. So we're looking at, instead of doing a regular talk in December, we're looking at putting together a more social event. Uh, just look at our meetup page and you'll find out what's going on. So since we last met, there's been uh, two conferences, Angular Mix and Angular Connect, and we just wanted everyone to know that the slides, deck, speaks, everything is actually up on YouTube. So just go in and look up Angular Mix, Angular Connect. And then I know we had some uh, questions about AnyConf. Feel free to ask us in the break if you should go or not, but the quick answer is yes, you should go. So tonight, we first going to hear from our sponsor, BlackRock. Then we'll have a presentation of NDRX, past, present, and future uh, architecture. Then we'll take a break so you can have some more pizza, but feel free to eat pizza at any time. Uh, then if you have any question about NDConf, just ask any of us. Uh, by the way, who has been to NDConf here? See if there's, there's people to ask. Then we have uh, Grace doing a presentation about NDRX and AD Grid. And then Moe will do the final presentation of data visualization. And we will do Q&A after that, because I'm sure there'll be questions. But feel free to ask us any questions if we break as well. Here's Kevin Donnelly. From BlackRock. Ho hopefully I'm not just a pizza guy. <laughs> um, so just a few words on BlackRock. Um, raise your hand if, you, if you've heard of BlackRock. You, if you're an employee, that does not count. <laughs> OK, so that's pretty good, maybe 25%. So just short, short answer, um, BlackRock is the largest asset manager in the world. We um, were trusted by over 90% of retirement plans to manage money. So if you have a 401k at your current job, you probably have a BlackRock fund, um, uh, iShares ETF in your 401k mix. Um, we do technology for 60 plus of the world's largest tech firms, so or financial tech firms. So if there's another asset manager out there, we've actually taken our technology and we've brought it to these other asset managers um, around the world. So they rely on us to, their portfolio managers rely on us to book trades, to run risk on their portfolios, and we've really scaled that globally. Um, right now, we manage about five and a half trillion dollars. That's trillion, not billion. And um, you, as you can imagine, the amount of technology that it takes to manage thousands, tens of thousands of portfolios globally across uh, every currency, uh, across every language, uh, it's a huge endeavor. So within BlackRock, I think we're about 1,800 to 2,000 developers across, I think, 20 different countries. Um, and it's a huge undertaking. And the technology portion of BlackRock actually manages about 5 trillion of those assets. So um, within Seattle, within Seattle, uh, we're focused on um, a lot of the client-facing systems, and uh, we've really, over the last year, really uh, uh, embarked on this mission with Angular, saw, seen a lot of really exciting things, 
ways that this technology is really transforming our business and for our salespeople who are mobile 90% of the time. Uh, it's, been, it's been amazing. Um, just some high level stats, uh, you know, around data volumes, uh, you know, pretty, pretty big in terms of the amount of trades, risk metrics, uh, Monte Carlo simulations that we run. We are a financial services firm, so um, you know, a lot of these metrics relate to uh, what it takes to run a five and a half trillion dollar business. So I don't want to, I don't want to take it too much time. Um, we, we have a huge set of different technologies that we use. Uh, tonight we're focused on Angular. Um, you know, this is just a, a small percentage of the areas that we focus on, but uh, pretty exciting space and uh, excited that you all are here. And, you know, Michael and Oleg and Mohi and Grace and others have done a, a, lo a lot of work uh, and I uh, hope you enjoy the time. Thank you.